Tackle Junkies. What's going on, everyone? Really appreciate you guys and gals for clicking on the video. Got another unboxing today from the Hookup Tackle. All right, and guys, keep a lookout. I will have April's Tackle Warehouse unboxing coming out pretty soon. I already made the orders, waiting for them to get here, of course, then I'll shoot the video. But I know you guys have been liking those new release or the, the new Tackle release videos. So I've been trying to do that every month. Please keep watching them, keep leaving comments and smashing the thumbs up and all that. Really do appreciate that. But like I said, I'm trying to stay on top of the new release items and show them to you guys and do some reviews. And I've seen this one come out here at the Hooked Up Tackle. I call, I call it the Hooked Up. I think it's the Hook Up Tackle. I've seen it come out, I believe it was Tuesday or Wednesday. I ordered that night and I received them today on Friday. I should have been on the water today. But man, that wind will not stop blowing. It's blowing like 40 plus out there right now. I had to work on that like the last three days. Today's my day off. I said, you know what, I'm not going back out in it. Plus, I mean, it would have it'd been a bear to even uh, try to fish in that, that wind today. I do believe they canceled what the elites the day before just because of that wind. And now we got it today. But uh, that wind will not lay down this year. It seems like it's been windy all year. So I'm really looking forward to those. So those slick, calm, hot summer days after all this wind. But anyways, if you can't fish, might as well do an unboxing. Like I said, one here from the Hookup Tackle. This is my favorite topwater lure. If you know, let me know down below what it is before we open it up. Knife of the day, mini Osborne, the old black and blue, mini Osborne. All right. Oh yeah. Okay. Like I said, only one lure in this box. Made the order just for this buzz bait. That's right. New buzz bait here from Tackle. Now I do not know the backstory behind this bait. All right. I will leave a video down below. I'll link it down below of the guys over there at Hookup Tackle. I think they have an interview with the guy that designed the lure. But I do believe there's a backstory to this lure. Maybe it was with a different company before, then it was discontinued. He brought it back out, something like that. I don't really know. Just watch that video. But he goes over the features and all that. But I was pretty, like, you know, impressed with what he had to say. So, of course, I picked him up. And being a huge Buzz Bait fan, I had to have him. So, again, these are the Tackle Max, Max Squeaker. Max Squeaker, and I do believe they are in a half ounce. We'll take out all four colors that I got. Okay, Tackle Max Squeaker. And that's a good looking color there. That one there is bluegill. Let's go ahead and take this one out. We'll kind of compare it to other buzz baits and show you guys the differences. And I believe it only comes in the half, half ounce. That is pretty slick. Put you guys there out of the package. Okay, there's the hook. So you do have a little plastic keeper on there. Undercut skirt here, which is hand tied. Okay. Sticky, sharp hook. Got a little eye there on the one side. That's kind of cool. Okay, kind of a flat head. There's a little bead in there on that side, which we'll get to. But just a pretty slick looking buzz bait. Okay, so let's talk about some of the features, like what you're going to notice right away. Let's go ahead and grab one. You know, I probably got a new, yeah, I got a new one right here too. I picked up some of these the other day as well for a restock. Love the Bugger Man buzz baits. And I do believe in that video, he even mentioned Boogerman. Okay, so we're going to hold up the Boogerman and the new Max Squeaker. See if you guys can point out some of the differences. You should see two that jump out at you right away. Okay, on the Max Squeaker there is no bead and there is no rivet. Okay, so here's a Boogerman here. See the bead there on the top and of course we got a rivet. Now if you fish around a lot of grass 
The main lakes that I fish, really zero grass except on the shoreline. Water's pretty dirty, so there really is no grass in the lakes. Now over there at the ponds, I do run into this issue. If you have some moss or whatever the case may be on the surface, it will collect around that bead and rivet and uh, it basically jams that blade up. It can no longer spin just because it's all clogged up with vegetation. So with removing the rivet and the bead, that can no longer happen. So that is pretty, pretty slick there. Not saying it can't get all clogged up in the blade, but at least you've eliminated the bead and the rivet. So how is the blade on there? I don't know what they call this, okay? It's, uh, you guys aren't gonna be able to pick this up either, but this, this rod right here is threaded. And this piece in the center here, okay, has threads in it, obviously, and it actually screws onto this rod here, okay? So no need for a rivet. But what's cool about that, if you want to, let's say, you know, I got a black one here, and I got this bluegill one here. If I want to put the black blade on the bluegill, all I have to do is unscrew that, unscrew that, and change blades. If you wear the blade out, again, get a new blade, unscrew it, put a new blade on there. So the buzz bait is no longer trash like they used to be. Now this one here is a bit longer than some, but I've had some buzz baits where the bend here, okay, above the rivet, the bend is right on the rivet, right? So when you say you want to change the blade out or whatever the case may be, or maybe you burn the rivet up, you need to change the rivet, whatever the case may be, when you bend that wire straight to get the rivet off and the blade off, it breaks. Well, if the wire's too short, well, then the buzz bait's trash, right? So it's pretty cool here that you no longer need a rivet and you just unscrew it to swap out blades if you choose to. So that's pretty cool. But I think he did say the blades can wear out just because if you look at that, again, where this piece is here, I don't know what that is. We'll just, we'll just call it a rivet. I don't know what it is, a rivet in the center of the blade, right? But like I said, it threads on there. And if you can look at the hole that it sits in, it's got a flat bottom, two sides, then it has two angles here. And as it spins, it rubs on those angles and that's what gives you your squeak. Of course, now it's going to hit the head there, right? But you can bend it out if you don't want that clacking noise as well. But that's how you get your squeak. It just rubs on those angles, okay? So that's pretty, that's pretty unique, I like that. Okay, now as far as hitting the head, all right, and in, in that video, he even mentions boogerman. That's another reason why I got this one out here. But you'll see here, as the boogerman hits the head, okay, it will, you guys might be able to see that, might not, it will chip up the paint, okay? So to avoid that on the Max Squeaker, he put this bead in there. So now the blade, the blade hits the bead, okay? I can tell you what, this is going to be a squeaker for sure. I'm digging this one. Now, something else you may notice. Look at the distance from the hook point to the wire. Okay? Boogerman, you don't have much distance here. Max Squeaker, you have a lot more room there. A much bigger gap to hook the fish. So when they come up and bite it, there's just more room there to get the hook. So that's pretty slick as well. The blade material itself, or the color I should say, it's not like a matte finish, but it's kind of like a muted finish on it. And I, I believe he said in that video, it helps with the sound. So you get a bit more sound out of this color versus like your chrome and all that. But uh, yeah, no bead, no rivet, new deal here. The blade now hits off the bead on the head bigger gap here but yeah that's just a just a slick looking buzz bait i believe they are go ahead and look here i think they're 15 15.99 doesn't say on here i think it was like 63 bucks shipped i think free shipping is like 50 bucks over there so i got four of them to get the to get the free shipping but uh that is the the bluegill that's the bluegill there Bluegill, Gold Blade. If you guys didn't see that before, little 
plastic keep around there. These here, usually when I have a, just like with the Mega Bass ones, usually when I have a buzz bait with a hand tied skirt, I usually just run the skirt as it is. I don't take it off and run a plastic. So these here, I probably will not add a trailer onto and I won't take the skirt off. I'll run them just, just like this. So that's the bluegill. We got the chartreuse in white, gold blade as well. I like that eye there on the back, that's cool. Yes, yeah, definitely a pretty big distance there from the hook point to the blade. You might be able to see, I'm sure it's gonna pick it up or not, you might be able to see that rod, you know, the threads on there. But I can see a clear as day here. Not sure, like I said, the camera's going to pick that up. But that's a pretty, pretty slick design there. So, chartreuse and white, gold blade. And then they have the white. They also have a shad color. I just went with straight white. A silver blade there. Same with that blade. It's kind of more like a muted finish. It's not like a shiny, shiny chrome. And then, of course, we have black. Normally, I just get like a black, black blade, white with a chrome blade, and then something to kind of like... Uh, you know, represent a bluegill, which is usually like a chartreuse and a gold blade, something like that. So I did get the chartreuse, but I seen that gill color and I loved it as well. So this one here does kind of look like a matte finish on the head and all that. There's the black. But even that blade, it's got a little sheen on it. It's not like a matte, matte black, but you can kind of see it there when the light hits it. But again, they're not a gloss. So I'm really looking forward to getting these out there and playing around with them. Like I said, buzz bait, favorite top water. Now is a great time to be throwing some buzzers. But uh, really looking forward to getting out there and playing around with these. But that's a great looking uh, bluegill color right there. Absolutely love that one. So anyways, guys, that's all I got for you. Just a quick little video on a new buzzer from Tekel, the Max Squeaker in half ounce. Check them out. I don't believe... I've seen these over there at Tackle Warehouse, so I picked them up over there at the Hookup Tackle. Head over there, check them out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash the thumbs up. Love you guys. We will see you guys on the next one.